This is Bob Davis 321, back again comparing three projectors. Uh, starting from the right, left, your left, is a pile. Uh, it's a um, PRJG65. Claims 150 lumens, but it is only 480 by 320. But notice that it says 150 lumens. It really is, probably. But the resolution is really low, so the text is barely readable. The next is a Arisan 800 by 480 claims 1,000 lumens. It is probably the dimmest of all of them. And then last of all is the Cronova XPE 460, which is becoming my favorite. Claims 1,000 lumens, 800 by uh, 480 resolution. We're doing the sharpness test right now. And you see how sharp that image is? It's a little bit off in one corner, but for a short throw projector, its sharpness is pretty good. Now we'll switch over here to the uh, Arisan by comparison. And I can't quite get it all the way in, but it's, it's acceptable. Uh, the corners are a little bit off, but it's not as bad as some of the other short throws. And then last of all, the pile projector. Now the pile projector is unfair. This thing is smaller than all the others, only claims 150 lumens, and only has, what was it, 320 pixels across or 350 pixels across? I wrote it down here someplace. Three, 480 by 320. But it's relatively sharp. Uh, its blacks aren't as black. I don't know if you can see that. And because it lacks pixels, uh, it, like, it looks blurry even though it's in focus. It's the lack of pixels that's actually the problem. But it's incredibly sharp for, or incredibly bright for only 150 lumens. Now let's switch over to the uh, brightness test here. How do I do that? Switch that off. There we go. Now we're going to do a brightness analysis. Again, I'm using a digital luxmeter LX1010B. We're looking at actual luxes, not lumens, but if you take a 3 foot by 4 foot screen, that's 12 square feet, multiply it by 0.9, you get pretty close to 1, within 20% accuracy that you can convert the lux right into lumens with this setup. So the pile that claims 150 lumens I'm only getting 30. Then the uh, we'll do the Arisan next. Gotta get this one off. So we have just that. The screen size is a bit bigger. Uh, 40, pretty much in the 40 range. That's interesting because what I have back here, eh, yeah, I have around 35, 20, 30 to 35. It's so basically 30 for the uh, pile, 65, uh, 40 for the Arison, and now let's put the Cronova back on the screen. Can start telling right away it's going to beat them. We're at 53, 58, 60, roughly 60 lumens or 60 lux, which should translate into about 60 lumens. But I've noticed my readings here are only about half of what the, uh, even on the ANSI units, is only about half what it should be. So even if I doubled that and gave it 120, that's still 120 lumens not 1,200. But here's one of my theories. One of my theories is they're actually taking the light coming right out of the projector. Wow. Yeah, right out of the projector I see 2,000. See if I can go to 20,000 range. See 20,000. I'm getting... It's on a 50,000 scale, so I'm getting... Uh, what am I getting here? Is that 30,000? 
lux directly in front of the lens. It didn't even get hot. But anyhow, that's those three projectors compared for sharpness. And this, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, Crenova, Crenova, whatever. It's beaten all the others in all my tests. And it's kind of funny when the uh, little pile at 150 lumens beats the uh, Arison that claims 1,000 lumens. And let me do another comparison here. I'll turn off the little pile. And we'll do side-by-side -side comparison of the Arison. If I can get it over here versus the Cronova, and as you can see, the Cronova blows the socks off of it. And they both claim a thousand lumens. But you tell me which one of those is a thousand lumens? Or which one of those is brighter? Oh, I gotta turn the scale all the way down now. Yeah. I'm getting 40. And I'm getting 60. So basically 40 to 60, the Cronova is, what is that, 20% brighter, roughly, going from 40 to 60 lux. Without a doubt, the Cronova is the best bright projector for brightness and for sharpness among the under $100 projectors, and I'll say something, they didn't pay me one penny to say that.